A bunch of y'all are concerned about global warming and climate change, and I'm not. And so when I mock a lot of the hysteria that's going on, a lot of the conspiracy theorists that think that there's a, uh, you know, the earth is coming to an end and we have to take action now and we have to recycle plastic bags and paper or, uh, you know, the world's going to come to an end. Um, I don't buy it. I'm sure the earth is either warming right now or it's cooling. It's going up and down as it has for thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of years. There's never been a time that it's been consistent. There's never been a perfect temperature. It's always changing. As it changes, some things do well, some don't. Of course, I don't like the idea of dumping oil into a stream. I don't litter. I actually pick up litter when I see it. But to have this huge hysteria over climate change, and we're changing the way that we live, we're, we're reducing our quality of life, doesn't make good sense. You say it's undisputed. Anybody that is a climate change denier is a conspiracy theorist moron. No, there are thousands and thousands of real scientists who don't buy into this mumbo jumbo about the world coming to an end. You can believe it if you want to. My concern is that when you take this belief and you and your politicians and all of your mob, or they call them the demos or democracy or something, when all of you get together and tell me how to live my life based on something that isn't even an issue, that bugs me a good bit. You don't have the right to do that. And I'm not going to play along and pretend that you're right and that it's a solved issue or what's it called? It's no longer a reason to, to talk about it. Well, there's always a reason to talk about science. It's always a reason to challenge what we believed yesterday. If indeed the earth is warming at a ridiculous rate, which it's not, and if it was, that's not necessarily a problem. It's going to allow a lot more things to live. Some of us are going to have to move from some places, but climates have always changed. If indeed it's this huge thing and we're all going to die in a hundred years or something horrible is going to happen, prove it scientifically. Don't do this mumbo jumbo junk science that exists. Don't just jump on the bandwagon and go take your sustainability classes in college from a college that's funded from federal grants and international grants from people that are always all involved in pushing this, this agenda. Uh, look at rational, objective scientists and what they've said. Use the scientific method. It's not a, not a huge deal. It's nothing to be worried about. We can, we can relax. So please don't try to get me to panic. And please don't tell me what to do.